The second major reason why I reject the notion of, uh, of um, paper money is the issue of power. I believe we must address this because even though those who wield the power and the control of the money, I sincerely believe they're well motivated to do what is good and right for the people. Just as the liberal interventionist is assuming he's doing good by building houses for the poor people. But they never take into account that they tear down more houses than they build up. And that so much of the HUD money goes to building country club communities. So I would say the same thing happens because the power is abused and misdirected. But it's an ominous power. There is no other power greater than the power over money. The power to create and contract the money supply. The power to control the purchasing power of your money. Throughout history, this has proven to be the most sought after monopolistic power of man. And it's become more sophisticated over the decades and over the centuries, more sophisticated now and more international in scope than ever before. So I see the issue of power and the control over money as being something that we cannot ignore, we must address.